Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ali. I'm a junior doctor working in Cambridge, and I'm also the co-founder of a company called SixMed, and we've been running courses uh, for the BMAT, the UK CAT, and interviews to help students get into medical school for hundreds of students every year since 2013. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you an excerpt from my online BMAT crash course, which is like a 75 plus video series that pretty much guides you through everything that you need to know to do well in the BMAT, at least, you know, on the technique and the theory side, so that you can then put it into practice by doing practice papers yourself. So I know a lot of people who are taking the BMAT don't do A-level physics and who might struggle with physics. So in the course, there are about 20, well, exactly 20 videos on physics, and this is one of them. In this video, we're talking about electricity, and I'm gonna be introducing you to the basic definitions and the basic formulae that you need, because quite a lot of BMAT physics is pretty much just about memorizing the formulae, and if you can do that and apply them, in the questions, then you can get most of the marks right. Uh, there are a few other videos that are available for free, so I'll put the details of the online course in the description below so you can have a look through those. Yes, full disclosure, the course does cost money if you wanna access all 75 plus videos, but if money is an issue or if you're from a low income background or anything like that, we've got a ton of bursaries and like half of the people who end up you know, getting, getting the course end up getting some sort of discount or another through a bursary system. So yeah, uh, without further ado, here is the video on the basics of uh, physics electricity, specifically aimed at people taking the BMAT, and you can see in the description uh, for links to the online course if you wanna watch the rest of the videos. Enjoy. Okay, so welcome to the physics module of this course, and in this video we're gonna be talking about electricity. Now electricity is probably the most important topic in BMAT physics because they tend to ask like two questions about it every year, at least they have over the last few years. So I'm really understanding electricity is like A, reasonably doable, um, and across these videos, we're gonna go over everything you need to know for electricity. And B, the questions that come up for electricity, once you've understood it, are reasonably straightforward. Like it's just a series of formulae that you have to learn and a series of principles about series and parallel circuits that you have to understand. So in this video, let's talk about kind of the basics of electricity and the formulae that we need to know. Now there's kind of, there's kind of two ways of approaching this. Firstly, you could just memorize a list of formulae and you'd probably be all right. But I wanna go a little bit beyond that and I wanna try and teach you a little bit of the understanding part of electricity because then like, if, if you can visualize it in your head, stuff becomes a lot easier and you have to memorize a lot, a lot fewer things than if you just memorize the formulae. But we're gonna go over the formulae anyway as well, of course. So um, let's kick things off with a few definitions. And the first thing that we wanna know is uh, charge. Now charge is a weird, a weird thing to define. I'm not gonna bother too much with it. Charge is basically a physical property of stuff. That means it exerts a force in an electromagnetic field. That sounds complicated, don't worry about it. It really doesn't matter what charge means. We can think of charge as the flow of electrons. Um, the important thing about charge is that it's given the symbol Q. So Q is what would appear in a formula that denotes charge, not C. If you see the word C in a formula, it does not mean charge. We need to be consider we need to get into the habit of using the standard standard symbols for all these things because those are the ones that you know are, are in the formulae. Anyway, so charge is the flow of electrons and it's measured in coulombs, which has the symbol C. Now this is confusing. Like I said, in a formula, you will see Q as being the thing that refers to charge. You will never see the word coulombs in a formula or C meaning coulombs in a formula because that's like saying, you know, speed equals distance over time is the formula, speed equals distance over time. It's not speed equals centimeters over time, right? So you would use the, the quantity rather than the unit. And this is a point that I'm gonna keep coming, keep coming back to. And it, it might seem obvious, but this trips up a lot of people. And when we teach the course in real life, we always get people that write C for charge. And that's so confusing. Please don't do that. Please write Q for charge whenever you're writing the formula. And let's move on to current. So current, is basically the rate of flow of charge, or as I like to think of it, it's the speed of electrons. It's how fast electrons are traveling in a circuit. Current is given the symbol I. Again, this is confusing. Please like always refer to current as I when you're writing stuff down or in the formula. Never ever refer to current as C because it's just the most confusing thing in the world. Anyway, current is measured in amps, and amps are given the symbol of A. Then we want a third definition, and that is voltage. Now voltage is easy, the symbol is V, and the unit is volts, uh, which symbol is V as well, so that's less confusing. Now voltage is, uh, yeah, uh, uh, another word for voltage is potential difference, but voltage, I like to think of it as basically a measure of energy. It is the amount of energy, the amount of pushing power the electrons have as they go through stuff in a circuit. Now, having defined all of those things, um, there are some formulae that I wanna introduce to you, and I'm gonna write them in a different color, uh, so these are the formulae that we need to know for electricity. 
So the first one is V equals E over Q. That is voltage equals energy divided by charge. Energy is measured in joules, charge is measured in coulombs. So V equals E over Q is formula number one that we pretty much have to memorize and keep in our heads at all times. Formula number two is, as we said, the current is the rate of flow of charge, it's the speed of electrons. So I equals Q over T. Current equals charge over time. And time is given lowercase t and is measured in seconds. If you see time in minutes in the exam question, you need to multiply it by 60 and convert it into seconds because you know they're trying to catch you. Uh, they're trying to catch you out there. And in fact, I'm just going to annotate that uh, current is a measure of speed, and voltage is a measure of energy. And I think that's something really useful to keep in our minds because that was uh, that's really going to help conceptualize things easier when we talk about series and parallel circuits. Current is a measure of speed. Voltage is a measure of energy. So the next thing we need to define is resistance. Um, resistance. Uh, it's quite hard to define. It's just like, you know, the resistance to the push of electrons. It's, it's hard to define it without using the word resistance. But I'm sure we all kind of understand what resistance means. A high resistance means it's harder to get through anything. So resistance is given the symbol R and it's measured in the unit ohms. And again, you will always see R in a formula. You will never see the omega symbol for ohms in a formula. So it's the symbol for resistance is R, the unit of resistance is ohms, and that's an important thing to keep in mind. And at this point, we can introduce ourselves to formula number three, which is Ohm's law, probably the most famous formula in all of electricity. That's V equals IR. Voltage equals current times resistance. Okay, one more thing we need to define, and that is power. So have a think about what is the symbol for power? And the symbol for power is P. P is what you would see in a formula, and the unit of power is watts. With, which has a symbol W. So there's that old joke that what is the unit of power? Huh, get it? What is the unit of, Never mind. Um, so power is defined as the rate of transfer of energy, which sounds complicated, but I just like to think of it as like how, how much energy you are using per second. So basically energy per second. So that leads us to formula number four that we have to memorize. And that is P equals E over T. Power equals energy over time. So the amount of energy you, the electrons are transferring in the case of electricity per second. Now there is a fifth formula for power and that is also important. And that formula number five is P equals IV. Power equals current times voltage. And actually if you use formulas one to four, you can rearrange that and you'll pretty much get energy over time. But P equals IV is a really important one to memorize because that often comes up in the BMAT as an electricity formula that we have to plug numbers into. And finally, formula number six um, is sort of a combination of number of formula four and five. So technically it's not even a six formula because you can derive it from four and five, but I think it's useful to remember because it has come up in the past and it's quite easy to remember. And that formula is E equals I T V. Easy enough. Energy measured in joules is current multiplied by time multiplied by voltage. E equals I T V and that's easy to remember because I T V is a TV channel in the UK. If you're watching this internationally, you might not know that. Yeah. So. These are the six formula, the, the six basic electricity formulae we need to know. We've um, introduced those. Please, please, please memorize those. Please memorize the symbols and the units because those are really important. It's really important that time is always measured in seconds. It's really important that volts and amps are measured in, uh, vol volts and amps, uh, sorry, voltage and current is measured in volts and amps. Power is measured in watts, not kilowatts, not megawatts, just watts. Um, we need to memorize these formulae and we've gone over some of the definitions. We've explained that current is a measure of speed. Okay, voltage is a measure of energy, and power is like energy over time, like how much energy you're transferring per second, and resistance is, is resistance. So hopefully that's been helpful. Um, in the next video, we're gonna introduce um, some questions, and we can go over these in a lot more detail because I'll show you the method for answering pretty much every physics question in the BMAT. We'll apply these formulae, and we'll hopefully get a lot of marks in the BMAT just by using these formulae and sticking numbers into them. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. All right, so that was me explaining some of the basics of uh, BMAT physics, uh, specifically the electricity stuff. And there's links in the description to the BMAT Crash Course Online, which is my 75 plus part video series. The BMAT Crash Course, which is our classroom course that runs across the UK and in a few other countries every year. Um, but also a link to BMAT Ninja, which is a website that me and a few friends made a few years ago. That is like an online question bank for, for the BMAP. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, can you give the video a thumbs up? Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video and good luck with the BMAP if you're taking it in the near future.